In this episode, we will talk about suites from Swift Testing. Suites are a powerful tool to improve the organization of your test, especially if you have hundreds of thousands of tests. Let's get started. As you can see, we are just as we left the previous episode. Yeah, this is the second episode of this Swift testing series. If you haven't watched the first episode, I will leave it in the description and also at the top of this video in a card. Okay, yeah, last time we uh, just refactor our first test and we have this other uh, set of tests, okay? And if you notice here, um, we have mm, around eight tests that we need to refactor, okay? That we need to translate uh, from exit test into Swift testing. But let's take a look to the names. So here, for example, we are uh, subtracting quantity. We are also subtracting quantity here. Here we are removing. And here we are getting information, getting quantity. And finally, we are adding quantity to the car. So if you notice the pattern, we are saying that uh, these two uh, tests are related. These other two are related to removing operations these other two, um, and then basically looks like we could make it better instead of having just a um, single uh, organization, we could improve it uh, to have uh, different subsets of tests. This is great. Uh, right now, for example, maybe it's not a big deal because I just have eight tests, but you, can you imagine having a real project with uh, thousands of tests? It will be really crazy to see okay, or to figure out, okay, what, where is my test? Mostly the best way um, to do it is just adding a mark and say, okay, this is a subs subtracting, right? I mean, that it's useful, uh, but Swift testing is improving that even, even better. Look at that. So we're gonna refactor everything in one shot for uh, from exit test into Swift testing by just doing this. Okay. <laughs> yep, there we go. Everything is right now here. Of course, we need to add the additional test and I'm going to do it now. So let's add test to each of the uh, tests here. And we have to um, get rid of the test uh, prefix, okay? I will do it as, as fast as I can. For example, let's do that. Oops. Let me do it again. There you go. Of course, I have to make it lower letter here. Subtracting. Oh yeah, I forgot this one here. There we go. Okay. Um, let's explore the sidebar here. And you will see, okay, um, well, nothing is uh, uh, updated yet. Let's do it. Now that we have this, uh, everything in the same struct, we can just click here. Oops, sorry. Okay, now there is a thing. Right now, all the tests are using uh, um, the exit test structure, okay? Exit assert equal and other uh, assert uh, from exit test. That's why the test is not recognized yet has a uh, Swift test, okay? This is great to see, by the way. Okay, we wanna fix that in just a moment. Now let's focus on on this car store. I don't know if you notice, maybe it's too small, but I will try to zoom in. Uh, but there is an S. That S means suite. So that means that uh, in this case, Xcode is recognizing this struct has a suite. 
And then basically a suite is just a, a group, a group of tests. Okay, it's the simple way to explain it. Okay, but this is the default. Okay, because we are you know adding this uh, test wrapper here, and then uh, Xcode is understanding that okay everything inside this container, this struct, is a suite. Okay, what what I mean is that this is indirectly a suite, but you can uh, define it directly as a suite and saying uh, like I don't know uh, you can like the test you can force here to say okay car store test okay you can do something like that and look how the the, the, the suite name just change okay I mean this may be redundant it's up to you if you want to add it uh, I would just leave it just for the demo purposes but now the interesting part here we have uh, these two um, subtracting tests related okay so what we can do here in order to make it uh, related and improve the organization is just creating another struct inside of this struct okay uh, for that we can use Swift. Okay, and Swift has a automatically uh, is generating a template. Right? So here, there you go. You can just um, copy paste the the test that you want to add here. In this case, I want these two guys. Let's copy paste them here. There you go. Um, okay, it's a little bit slow. Now. Um, give me one second. Okay, so these two guys here will be part of the subtracting test. Okay, and you can even improve the readability of this suite of this group by just saying, okay, subtracting quantity on car items. Okay, so now when I well. It will still not not be able to uh, up, appear right here. Or, or let me see. Let me see. Okay, if I run it. Okay, yeah. Now it's mm, yeah. It's actually uh, recognized by subtracting. Hmm. Okay, that's that's interesting. Uh, maybe it was something. Uh, mm, maybe you need to add it to be recognized internally. I don't know. Or maybe it's an Xcode issue, who knows? But anyway, so now you are able to see this uh, uh, subgroup or subsuite inside um, this uh, car store test, which is great. Okay. Uh, now let's do the same for the other other uh, test. For these two, are talking about removing. So let's do then something called. Um, Removing tests or so. Sweet. This will be called removing items from a card. Let's call it removing test internally. Now let's copy paste these two guys. Okay. Great. Now let's do the same for the other, for the next two. Okay, X code is a little bit laggy. Now the next two are related to quantity. So let's create a group, a suite related to quantity. Suite. Okay, I'll copy paste these two again. Great. Lastly, we have the last two tests to be grouped. And then here, oh, look at that. <laughs> Xcode is automatically inferring that the last two uh, tests are related to add quantity. 
that's great, right? It's great to see it. I'm not even demoing or so. This was just uh, legit proposed by Xcode. Let's do it. Okay. Look at that. It's, it's even okay. It's even fixing my grammar. <laughs> okay. Well, that that's too much. I don't I don't want that. So thank you, thank you for your proactivity. Okay. 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 I can do this. Give me one second. I mean, but this is great to see this. Okay. Now let's copy paste this. Boom, 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 boom. By the way, I created a a, a, a video explaining, uh, well, just exploring a uh, first look of what is um, code completion on Xcode 16. Uh, if you want to take a look, it's a really interesting video, I will say, because it's explored some kind of well could be the reality, but hopefully we'll have a better experience um, once the betas are, are done and we have the release candidate. Yeah. I will also leave it in the description and in the card. Okay. Uh, oh, no, no, sorry. Okay. Let's run this. And if you can see, uh, you are even run everything let's see if it's recognized by the yeah there you go i haven't even touched uh, this test for example and you notice that it's still you know recognizing it as a test inside of the test this is great because as you can see uh, the transition is <clears throat> even better so you don't have to fully migrate everything if you just want to prove the organization of your test you can do it and you can just leave on your test on touch and Xcode will recognize everything, no matter if you're using XC um, assert equal or if you're using the spec macro. So this is great and take a look to take a note to that because it's one of the questions that I, I receive if you need to fully migrate. So well, as you can see, it's not necessarily that. Okay, and now you are able to see that we we got a better presentation of this list, right? So instead of just having uh, a single group with everything in, inside, now we have four subgroups uh, from um, and, and multiple tests related to each other. So um, and by the way, since that we are talking about subtracting here, I don't think we need this subtracting prefix. So let's also fix that. So here. We will remove this. Yeah, there we go. Same here. Here we're talking about one product. So let's put it right here. Our items in the cart. Here we're talking quantity. Well, I, I can put it in this way. Let me. Whoa. Actually, it's, it's failing for some reason. We can remove this product and cart. And we can improve this name or something like this. Okay, great. And here I will just leave quantity because I think it's, it's better for readability. Uh, okay, I will restore Xcode because for some reason it's not working. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. And yeah, for some reason it was in an infinite loop here. And that will be it. That's uh, all for this episode. Um, you can see that just refactoring this is, is pretty smooth and let me know your comments in the next episode I would like to also explore another way to improve your organization and this will be more related to tests that are interconnected uh, between, between uh, subsets okay? I will explore tags in the next episode so for now I would like just to read your comments and see what do you think about this. That will be for me. Remember, my name is Pete, and this, this is Ifan Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.